as a most of the streets are named after British subjects. Okay? When COVID-19 first came to the Bahamas here before last, this was being completed. A new face of the emergency and the ambulance department. Okay? This is called Bennett's Hill. The water tower was erected back in 1928, 126 feet high and 260 feet above sea level. Ladies and gentlemen, it has a million, million gallons of water for the downtown area only. The dark cannons that are here in this country. When they are fired off, what would they say, sir? Boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> Great bunch of fire, man. That's boom. If you go on this site, you can look at both entrance and a glance. Both east and What you're looking at in the back of us where the gentleman is standing with his hands and his camera, it took 600 slaves, 16 years, for 18 hours a day to cut this hole into this limestone here. Then they put in the Queen's staircase. It took them one year, 1793 to 1794. The staircase was actually a short way to get their supplies from the ships in the harbor. Then when slaves are free, that's when they name it the Queen's staircase or the 66 step because those steps represent the reign of the throne as its queen. Okay? It's 90 feet from top to bottom. Give you a minute or two to walk in here. Don't sure. get a sure. minute or two. The time as you step on a minute, we'll be gone. <laughs> okay? But ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go in there and just take a break, look around. Not at the fort. I don't want you to get carried away on the fort. I don't go up there because Big Mama needs space. Okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I will go in there in a few minutes. What time it is? 23 after, say about 12.30, good, 12.30, be back. What you're looking at here, it's called a banyan tree. If you look at it carefully, it goes from the top, coming down, finally the tree down. I'm going to show it into the cannon. What you're looking at, it's not an act of nature. It took 600 feet. Building. 
This is where the high ranking British officers stay, when they were training British troops to be fighting their pilots at Oakfield Airport, led by Sir Harvey Oaks, who was the wealthiest man in the country from Niagara Falls, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, it was called Oakfield Airport. 1779, this is the first city there built by the British Royalists. 1873, this building became the National Public Library and Museum, and that is what it is today. In the back of it is the Garden of Memory, the concrete pillar in the center is called the Cenotaph. This war, a police force and our defense force. I had four of my men got killed by fighter jets, Cuban fighter jets, also blew up one of our ships, HMBS Flamingo. The building behind the Cenotaph is our Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, but not the final court. The final court would be the Privy Council. We have the Rodney E. Bain building on the other corner. This used to be our general registry. There are some issues with on your left, where these folks are standing. So you come and get your license if you're getting married. The birth certificate, death certificate, and all the kinds of stuff. The Bank of the Bahamas right here to the right of us. This government-owned bank, it's sure ahead of us. It's the Central Bank of the Bahamas. The corner store was laid by Prince William during our independence. And it was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth when she came back to the Bahamas to open this bank in other St. Andrew's Presbyterian of the Kirk Church, 1810, the Scottish Church. This here is a cotton tree. Right there, that's where we are. Above that arch is the eastern entrance to the Governor Gentleman's house. To the right of us, the pink and white building is called the Balcony House. The 1800 is built with American cedar wood. It is the oldest house in the city. It is under the Antiquities Department of the Government. The original bed is there, ironing board and even iron, where you put your hot coal and iron to heat it up to iron your clothes. Christ Church, when that became a cathedral in 1800, that church right there to the right of us made this island the capital and the city of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Father Boyd is the Archbishop of the Bahamas on Turks and Caicos Island. Here is Mount Prince William to the left of us. This is the Governor of Jasmine's house. This house sits on four street corners. Nothing else is on this property. The Honorable Canadian Smith is the Governor General of the Queen, but right now the Governor General's house is under major, major renovations. This is the Statue of Columbus, but last year while I was doing a tour on a Saturday, a guy with a sledgehammer was tearing down the Statue of Columbus. Tore up one of the hands, part of the legs, and at the base, you can see the base is cracked in the corner. Did you stop Gov him? Governor Carmichael, many of the policemen here, there's a couple of police cars here. They had, a, they had a handcuff sitting on the wall. Yes, they did. But you know the sad part about that? I used to work up here at the Governor General's house. The police force used to be the guard of the Governor General that we formed our Bahamas Defense Force in 1975. Now you have two entrances over Gregory's Arch and right here. Two boots. Everybody got the handguns and machine guns. And you let a guy come on, on your boundary, or beyond, beyond your boundary to do that kind of work. The Commodore dismissed all of those men. I would have missed, I would have dismissed, they wouldn't have to know that they were dismissed. Soon as that happened, and I knew you were there, okay? Because your that was not supposed to happen. It ain't gonna happen on my watch. It never happened on my watch. But those guys lost a job because of that. This is Brewer Road. From Carmichael Road here to Duncan Notice is a two-way, one-way traffic done by Hubert Ingram. Macker Street, where Gregory's Arts, is a one, two-way, one-way from downtown to Robertson Road. This is the oldest hotel set up building today by Hubert, built by Henry Flagler. Miami, Florida, Flagler Street, same guy. Now, on this site was Fort Dasso, built by Nicholas Strutt in 1629. 1900, destroyed by fire in 1922, rebuilt in 1925. So Harry Oaks was a wealthy man. He was down to earth. He wanted something to drink or wanted to see walking out and see what's going on. And the workers at the front of the hotel told him, told him that he could not even afford to buy water in the hotel. And so they ran him from this hotel. So Harry Oaks ran out. He was pissed off, ran out, found him to own the hotel. Came back, came back. And the guy said, you back here again? Call the popo. We're gonna lock you up this time. Not knowing they were talking to your boss this time. And he fired them right on the spot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Never judge the book by its cover. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, this, ladies and gentlemen, it was commissioned by Queen Victoria because he was a pirate. The reason why she made him the first royal governor, pirates were capturing a lot of British ships, taking their goods, and turning British subjects into slaves. She was pissed off at that. 
chilling like this, start picking outside the box. Look at I need some parry to catch parry. Cut that guy, so the guy knows he's a bad dude. I'm not gonna put you in jail. I want you to want just do a job for me. Be the world governor of the Bahamas. Get rid of those pirates that capturing a lot of my ships and taking all my good, beautiful, beautiful uh, treasure. And so therefore, at Port Nassau on this side, Red Rogers hung many pirates by the neck. He is the one who eradicated pirates from around these islands here in the Bahamas. Ladies and gentlemen, Port Nassau saw much action. Okay? All kind of action. He even fooled the enemy by making them believe that he had a lot of men, but he did not have a lot of men. That's the trick he used. He was thinking outside the box, you would say. Ladies and gentlemen, he even used his own again. I think he had skills. Masterful skills. This is the Deputy Prime Minister's car right here to the right. That black car. See DPM on that? That's the Deputy Prime Minister, Chester Cooper. To this corner, Chester Cooper, the Deputy Prime Minister and, Min and Minister of Tourism. To the corner, that yellow and white building, that was our first private school called Government High School. That's where Oscar Lenny when he went to school, became a, the second premier and then became the first prime minister of this country. Please do not look to your left. <laughs> that is only in case you'll get homesick. But right there is the U.S. Embassy where the flag is at, the beige and white building. That is the U.S. Embassy. Now what the Chinese did, this is far thinking. They surveyed the area, they saw that parking was limited. So they built this structure. This eight-story structure is a parking garage. The first in the country. This is a money maker. Even when hotels don't make money, this parking lot don't make money. They also built these two new hotels. One is like a condominium setting. There's one to the right. Maggie Wheeler Beach Resort is the real hotel. But I heard that the food here is off the chain. Advertising on TV, it really looks good. Really looks good. I tell you no lies, okay? But that's why this parking lot was needed. We are now on West Bay Street. This is Mr. Flowers' place. His house is right next door to Michael Jordan's property around the golf course of Paradise. He was, I would say he's maybe the best pilot we had. He was so good when, the, when, he, rode, when he flew the Saudi Prince. When, he was, when, the, when the plane landed, the prince didn't even know he was on the ground. He said, I want to see that pilot. That Bahamian pal, I want to see him, and he took him back to Saudi Arabia with him and became a millionaire. Now he's a multi-millionaire. This is Long Walk Beach, now called Chonkunu Beach. Chonkunu is a festival they had Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Boxing Day came from the British. That's when the British opened their presents. Okay? That's where Bo the name Boxing Day came from. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the festival held on Boxing Day and New Year's Day. Taking out the old, bringing in the new. Is similar, to give you an idea, is similar to Mardi Gras or Carnival. The difference between Mardi Gras and Carnival and Jungle we keep our clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, old Dolphin and Lannis Hotel not called the Courtyard Marriott. In the back of the Courtyard Marriott, they have their meeting place or convention center or party joint. Look at the color of this wall. It's that building right there. That was called the Country Club. That's where Bahamian used to play. The guys who sing the song, Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Come on, let's go, guys. All right. When we got that triple platinum, we decided. We haven't seen them since as a band after they got the triple platinum on that song. Ladies and gentlemen, and they used to stay in Asia a lot. That's our key. That's now with the container port. You bring them, remove all container companies from downtown and relocate them right on this island. That's the man they key I told you about. Used to be called Kelly's Key. Xavier's College, Xavier's Private Center. By appointment only, no cash, that's credit card or debit card. By appointment only. Okay? This technology has changed the game in this country. So the new building they're trying to complete right now, three story building. We also have right here Clifford Park, came out to Clifford Darling, this is where we celebrate independence, 1973, July 10th, and this is where we do it every year. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Garrison, the Fort Charlotte, named after Queen Safari Charlotte from Mecklenburg County, Germany, the wife of King George III, called Fort Stanley, Fort Darcy, and Fort Charlotte proper. John Darcy was the engineer for this point that was sent from England to make sure that they did not break the treasury. The men that carved this limestone rock into beautiful corners and chambers, because they also had a torture gym where they stretch both arms and both legs, tying them up and tightening you up with that one pop of the sockets. 
ladies and gentlemen, all of that was done, but the men that did this, hypothetically, them, say for instance, I have 100 men, 80, 80 of my men die. Why? They inhale too much lime into their system. And they have the kind of medical kind of things that we have today. And so most of them die. Haynes over is where all cricket games are played. This port, 500 men, 500 soldiers, man this port 24 7. Ladies and gentlemen, this port also had a drawbridge across the moat. The moat was not designed to hold water, but what they did, they, Lord Dunmore, built it back in 1787. What he did, he grew cactus in the moat. So you, if you were to come there not having the knowledge of this moat, jumping in there thinking there's water, you would get surprised to be alive. You would get what they call a, a full body acupuncture or feet acupuncture. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fish fry. The area is called the fish fry, not one restaurant. This area is called the fish fry, specializing in seafood. And Hubert Ingram, he said, he made an announcement when he became prime minister, that he wanted our guests to be able to enjoy Bahamian company along with some Bahamian cuisine. And you have to be specialized in seafoods. And so therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this was created. All you have to do if you want to be your own boss, own your own company, own your own restaurant, is to go to the Prime Minister's office, he will give you a piece of this property, all you have to do is make the country crown and develop it. And the style of real sluggish, but even Bahamas didn't come down here at the time when it started, but eventually things took off. So that was safe, so a lot of activities can happen one time down here. We have car shows, you have bike shows, you have junk room, we have having this festival. Uh, we saw many things. The last concert was held out here was Rick Ross and Nas. Till 6 o'clock in the morning. Big time concert out here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first ride. If you were to say, now, nah, Richard's take it to get something to eat, I'll take you to Twin Brothers. That's it. They call it an aphrodisiac, but I say, if you got it, you got it. But if you need some assistance, get it. <laughs> Don't be no hero. Yes, it didn't see no action. They got rid of the drawbridge, the grooves out there with the bridge home, and they now have a solid bridge across the moat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Port Charlotte, named after Queen's Army Charlotte from Mac and Bunny. Okay. But ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to a place I think you would appreciate. There's no chemicals here. All natural. You all know, everybody knows somebody who got sugar, high blood pressure, need to lose some weight. Need some assistance in other areas. The lady that started this, she started she start selling things in a shopping cart. And they give her only a couple of months to live. She had cancer. She is still alive today because of these things that are being sold. And she had a dream about all the other plants to get and turn into teas. I go there for my fever grass, which is good for my high blood pressure. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go down to Tasty Teas. And let me tell you something. I've been doing it for 25 years, and I'm sure, I'm sure that even sometimes as a man, I don't want, I don't want to. When you go in there, they break down every tea and what it can do for you, you will get something. There's some kind of something somebody needs in there even in your family or your friends or whatever have you. Whoa, you let me out? That's a cockroach. <laughs> I always call these the ride on drive cockroaches. I'm gonna hear the ride now. As we go to Tasty Teats. You know, there's great trees around here. Oh, one more thing about the great tree. Bahamas did, who did not have plates to put their food on. They will get the larger set of these leaves, then find the larger set, wash them off, and use them as plates to put their food on. Okay? Botanical gardens coming up to the right side of us. That they dropped off here. Many of them they took to the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, Bahamian Senate did not have that financial luxury to be able to go into casinos and gamble and to be able to take some money home to mama. That would be difficult and would cause some serious hardship, more hardship for those behemoths at the time. And so that law was put in place. Ladies and gentlemen, we could work in there, 
but we are not allowed to gamble in there. Also, one of the main reasons, this is the main reason, listen carefully, another main reason is they needed that American dollar because it was powerful. And we needed our reserves to be grow. And like they say in America, ain't nothing like having good credit. Good credit, you can get anything. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Once we had good credit, we could be able to. We were able to develop, borrow money, and be able to develop this country. And that's one of the laws that they were put on the books. Sir so Stafford Sands is the father of tourism. He's on our Bahamian ten dollar bill. Ooh. All right. This is a two-way, mind you. Show the car coming through, right? Yeah. This is a two-way. <laughs> look to the right, look to the right, look to the right. See those lights way over there? See our track and field stadium? Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. That's the Thomas and Robinson track and field stadium. That's where they have the Popeye Bowl, the football game. Called the Popeye Bowl. Look it up. It's two colleges coming to America during the Christmas season of that, that championship game. This flagpole represents Oscar Lindy Pilling Burial's burial site. That's where he is buried. Okay? This is what they call a juju. Boy, this tree is loaded. Mamma mia. Loaded. Loaded. There was a guy in the tree. I, I knew it had to be somebody sitting in the tree. Yesterday when I came in, he was right up there sitting down with his bag full of jujus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an Agnes graveyard. The pink building, of course, here to the right where I'm pointing. That is our magistrate court. That's where my last daughter, she works there. Tell her she needs to be a lawyer now. This year, it's Aki. Is that the right thing? Oh, yeah. Do not use it unless you know what you do. Am I my correct, sir? Now, the other set of people that came to this country, other than the British Royalists who started the police force, the Gazette, and improved education in this country, and tomatoes which are exported. The pineapples are like molasses. Most of them are grown by women. Okay? Don't laugh, man. Don't, don't laugh too hard. What is going on, case? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Elutra Harbor Island are folks who are descended from North Carolina and South Carolina. They speak like Americans. But the beauty about Harbor Island, North section of Elutra, is the sand on the beach is pink and white. The sand on the beach is pink and white. Before COVID, a couple of years before COVID, it was the second most risen place in the Caribbean. Google it. My grandbaby always tell me that. Tell me Google it all the time. She's the one who's showing me this smartphone stuff. All right, folks. We're going to go right there now to Tasty Teeth. It's the building on the right. Is that the that is the Ministry of Health. This, the you have me on, on the hill when I said the pink building should head. And anytime you see my finger go up, look at where my finger is pointing. This is the Ministry of Health. You thinking about that, you thinking about that uh, pineapples, yeah. molasses stuff. Uh -huh. He's getting freaky up here, folks. <laughs> one gun salute. The 21 gun salute is an aphrodisiac and it's the Bahamian fire Huh? So what's the I thought, did I tell you? It's a vehement and it works. And it works. They make your wine, wine in the bed. All right. Good, good, good. That's right.